Welcome back to Crazy Dave's Crew. I'm Laura, and today we're trying out the tea from my Apothecary at Home box from June. So, let's take a look at it. So it's a loose leaf tea and it has spearmint, all organic, spearmint, nettle, oat straw, red clover, and raspberry leaf. So I think we're going to get this wonderful little teapot that my son bought me for Mother's Day. And it says a teaspoon for each eight ounces. And Taking it up to the maximum level, this holds about uh, four cups. So, let's open that. Mmm, it smells good. So this is a teaspoon. We're going to put this in the little percolator here. Two, three, four. As it seals. I have some for another time. Now I'm going to turn it on to auto. So this is something I can do if I'm wanting to relax in the evenings, if I'm wanting to while reading a book. I've even got myself a little lavender candle. And I can sit here and read through the printout about my box. A lot of information in this about the plants, your digestive system, it's very educational. And they even have some bonus recipes in the back. I'll leave this open to the project ideas. Because I believe that's going to be my next step, is to go through all the projects. See what we've got. And the tea says it's for replenishing and it is from looseleafblends.com I'll have to check those out It's almost ready. While we're waiting for the last couple minutes here, remind everyone about the contest that we're having where you can win one of these boxes, including a package of this loose leaf tea. So be sure to watch that video and see how you can enter. It's teapot. 
but I've got it on auto so it will stop all the boiling and percolating and then once it cools down a little bit it'll start it back up again so I'm gonna wait until it stops the percolating oh. see how the light went up I think we're good taking off the base Smells really good. Light amber color. Hmm. Hmm. Waiting for it to cool just a little bit before I, I try to get a good taste. That's not too bad. I normally add sugar or you know some sort of sweetener to my teas, but I could drink this without. We're going to try it though with just a little bit of sugar. Not a lot. About half a teaspoon. There it goes again. I wish you guys could try this. This is really good. It was it, well, it was good with before the sugar. Now it's really good with just that little bit of sugar. And I've got a couple little tea leaves in there. Where obviously it made it through the percolator. Mm. Well, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I know I'm going to because I'm going to sit here. I'm going to go get me a book, and I'm going to kind of sit here. Kids are all in their rooms and. My husband's doing something and I'm just having some quiet time just with myself. That's what everybody needs, right? A little bit of time to replenish. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you'll subscribe, like. Tell me what your favorite tea is. When do you like to drink it? Is it in the morning or in the evenings? while you're watching TV, while you're reading a book. Do you drink herbal teas? What's your favorite? Let me know down in the comments. And be sure to check out DIY Dave and Company where I will be trying out some of the recipes for the other herbs for some DIY ointments and salves. So be sure to check them out and I will see you next time on Crazy Dave's Crew and DIY Dave and Company. Until then, enjoy life. Thanks for watching.